tonight's game between the Mulvane Wildcats and York Trinity United. This game is being conducted according to the rules of the Kansas State High School Activities Association. Please support your team and the referees tonight by practicing good sportsmanship throughout the entire game. If you'd please stand with your hats off as parent Pat Lucas leads us in prayer and remain standing as the Trinity Madrigals sing the Star Spangled Banner. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for this day. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the opportunity to gather in a place like this and to enjoy our time together. We thank you for our guests from Mulvane. We pray that you keep them safe as they travel home. We pray for our teams and our um, cheerleaders and all those involved, our officials tonight. We pray that you would keep them safe and that we thank you for the gifts and the abilities and the skills that you have given us. We pray that um, you would be honored as we put them on display tonight and that it would all be to your glory. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. to KCAT News. Uh, Burgos is not going to be here tonight. He had uh, other events going on. So I'm just going to do the game by myself here. So we're here at Trinity for the sub-state. There's just a starting lineup and about to get tip-off here. Let me fix the clock we're right here. It's a little bit of a smaller gym than Mulvane's gym. So starters tonight are is Jeb Herman, Michael Manis, Drew Ellis, Gage Gerlock, and Travis Solo. Trinity gets the ball. Start off. 
Looks like the Wildcats are in a zone here. Now Drew Dribbling down. We don't want any turnovers right now. We just want to get a good possession in. You can see right behind the Travisello and the basketball is the, the rowdy crowd for Trinity. Looks like the Wildcats are just passing around the three-point line right now. None of them are inside the paint. Trying to just, maybe not stall, but hold on to this possession. That's going to be a foul on Trinity there. That's a turnover for the Wildcats. But then Drew grabs it right back, tries to hit off his Trinity's feet, but it doesn't go in. And Manus gets the rebound. So it's going to be a chance for Mulvane to reset here. Getting just passing around the three point line right now. Not a lot of people in the paint for the Wildcats. Trinity's running a zone two right now. Looks like it's a two three zone. Something about the Wilds tonight, they're in their alternate uniform, so they're in black tonight, not green that they'd usually be in. Wildcats still passing around the ring here. Manus has the ball right now. Jem to Drew. To Gerlach. Back to Solo. Ooh, a little contact right there. Still just going back and forth. Oh, right to the middle of Manus. The ball kind of bounces out of his hands, and, it, and Trinity gets the ball here. Again, we want to score on our possessions. That's the main thing of tonight. Because Trinity's got some players that can shoot threes. It's like Wildcats are just dribbling down here. To Gage. Gage gonna pop it. No good. Drew gets the rebound. Just pass to Gage. Gage to Manus. Back to Drew. Trey a little fake pass to Herman, who was in the paint as he cut. Mulvane's really making the time on their side. Get their the possession on their side here. Give me time. All righty crowd is clapping like crazy right now. I think the Wildcats are trying to tempt Trinity a little bit right here. Trying to make them come out on them. Because right now they're just going a three-way pass. Trey dribbles in. It's inside. And the Wildcats they get a hold on Trinity here. Fix the clock here. There's three... 43 left to go here in this first quarter. Ooh, it's counting the wrong way here. I'll have to fix that at half. We'll get the clock working at, at the end of this quarter here. 
still, there's not a lot of scoring happening right now with only three minutes left to go here in the first quarter. Jill, a handoff to Ellis there. Trinity's counting like they have a shot clock, but they don't. They're acting like they have a shot clock, but Wildcats aren't face at all here. They're being mentally tough here with 2.30 left to go here in the first quarter. Coach shows one injured to stay up there, which he does come back up and takes the ball. Who? Herman in the bank. Drew fakes a three. Gives it to Gage. To Drew. Oh, back to Jeb. Jeb didn't know it was coming to him, but doesn't matter. Podcasts retain the ball. We're already crowds clapping again. There, there were a rowdy crowd for Trinity still doing the shot caught. So seniors on the court right now who started it was Jeb Herman and Jurellis. It's a turnover for there's a turnover there for the Wildcats. And then he Gage fouls him, so no, I'll get, they're going to get a foul right there. Deep three here. No good. Trying to get the rebound back, but I can't get onto it. Another big three. And this one does go in. With a minute 14 left to go here in the first quarter. <laughs> Another foul called on Trinity. They throw, but it's overthrown, and Trey tries to tip it off the backboard, but it doesn't happen. That's going to make it 8-0. to zero. Looks like the Trinity Wild Card is actually clapping with the actual time. Trey makes tries to shoot. No good. The foul on the Wildcats. Man, this is not like that call. Foul number 34, Michael Manis. 28 seconds here left to go. Point four. Twenty seconds. Looks like Trudy's gonna have this last possession here. There really hasn't many different possession turns here. Just been going back and forth. And call a foul. Two seconds left to go. Foul on the shot, so that's going to be three. Trey Solo, his first 13th. It's a foul on Trey. Two seconds left to go. There's no good in man's gets the ball. That'll be the end of your fir- first quarter. Trinity 8, Mulvane 0.
All right, so we seem to get the clock back to working. So should ca be counting down now here to start off the second quarter. That's the second warning here for the first quarter. Really wasn't too many big plays here in that first quarter. We would have shown it to you through instant replay, but I didn't see any big plays, so not enough to give a replay. So hopefully we get some this quarter. Drew in the middle. Back to Maros, Gage, Ellis, Herman. Trinity still going to play in this 2-3 zone here. The Wildcats are still making the most out of the possession here. To Drew. To Solo and Gage. Now it's Herman. Manis is making three point contact with that ball, trying to hold on to the ball as much as possible. Drew, big three. No good, but Gage gets the rebound. Goes up, and it's good. Two points for the Wildcats. Chase Anderson, his first 14 foul. Trying to get this clock working. I know it hasn't been working too well. But again, we're a man down since Brigo's going to be here tonight, but it's all right. And I kind of lost my voice, but it's okay. We'll get this going. So. Ooh, ball, ball, ball. Bobcats to get ball. Drew's going down the court, but the Trinity seals it right back. And Trinity's coach is telling him to slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> Be follow there. It's going to be the second foul for Trey. Shot is good. Jeb's posting up, gets down there. So I was wondering where that foul was, but no foul was gone. Man is trying to get big. Around. It's going to be a Push called on Trinity. Push the basketball player talking to the ref about it, but the ref says he pushed Trey, so we walk at basketball here. Again, wild guys are just making the most out of the possession here. Man, it's getting big, but gets out of the paint. Trey tries to dribble in, but just gives it right back out to Man. That was a tip ball, but Jeff gets it. Ellis going in and tries to make a pass out, but 
couldn't communicate with Trey, so be Trinity's ball there. No shot. In and out for Trinity. Girl gets the rebound. And now Sell is bringing it down the court. Trey, D3. No good. This is Jeb. Jeb goes out. It's going to be on the ground foul. Or the foul's going to be on the court. Number one, Nate Adler, with his second 16 foul. Checking in for the Knights, number five, Brian Curry. All right, so again, Bobcats just make their most of possession here. It's only worked really once here with two points. Clock should be working in here. I'll wait till it's three before I play it. Again, a very low scoring game here for in the first half. Now, all righty, cross candy here. D3 for Trini again, no good. Trini gets the rebound, man, it's getting big. Foul called on the Wildcats. It looks like it's going to be on Jeb Herman here. Foul's in number 10, Jeb Herman, his first 15 foul. And Trinity knocks out on the first one. And Trey Knox on the second one here with 236 left to go here. Another turnover for the Wildcats here. And Trini knocks down the three. Two minutes left to go here in the first half. So they're going to call a foul. Foul to number five, Ryan Kerr. Number five for Trinity. Shooting for ball banks, number 12, Drew Ellis. That's going to make his, he's going to take some free throws. And looks like Ian Comer, a freshman, is going to come into the game here. Ellis has missed his first one. Makes his second one. Comer goes in for Manis. Mm -hmm. 
crowd really like Comer this uh, Monday as Wildcats won against Wellington for a play-in game over Trinity. It's a great game, as Burgos would call it. You know, I got dribbling in. You know, Trinity dishes it out and <laughs> knocked down another three. Makes it 17 2. Again, Wildcats been pushing around, pushing around. Ulo dish off the jab, but it's blocked. With here a minute left to go. <laughs> Sorry about the call. Gives it to Trey. Trey passes it to Comer. Still Wildcats passed around. They're hoping this will be the last possession of the half here. Oh, but no, Gage takes a shot and it's good! First three of the night for the Wildcats. Wildcats are now playing man. No, no, they're going to do a 2-3 zone 2 against Trinity. As there's 10 seconds left here in the first half. They're trying to do a little pick and roll, but doesn't work. And Trey Abasello with the stuff. Just no good. And that's going to be the end of your first half. Very low scoring game here at Trinity. As the Trinity is up 17 to 5.
Alright, so about to end here the ha half time, so I was just going to do a little recap here. Wildcats really trying to slow down the ball as slow as they could get it. And it ended up being 17-7 Trinity here. We also um, saw one three-pointer by Gage Gerlach, which we do have the replay from, so we'll play that now. not seem to be the right one so we'll get that figured out here I th think we found it but we'll see where it came went from all right let's see if this one will work here First three of the night for the Wildcats. That's the replay of the first half as we start here to get the third quarter going. Looks like the Wildcats changed some. No, they didn't. They still are staying in the 2 3 zone. They are trying to maybe like soft trap a little bit. It's a turnover on Trinity. It's going to be Wildcats ball. Wildcats still going with the same philosophy as the first half. But this time, Drew makes a shot way earlier than he would have last half. And it Tries to save the ball, but it looks like he doesn't. So now the Drew's gonna face, not face guard, but only guard number 11. But it looks like everyone else is man. So Solo gets a rebound. The well, Trinity play tries to swallow away, but it doesn't work. Looks like Trinity's getting a little feisty. My crowd's not liking no foul called, but it's all right. Three, oh, Trey almost gets a rebound, but it looks like number left's going right in, but... Manus hits the taps the ball away right before he goes up for the layup. Another deep three for the Trinity, and it's in for the Knights. Trey looking for a way to condition to Jeb. He gets it. Jeb dishes it right back out to Gage. But it's hit away by Trinity's number 11. He's been the main factor for the thorn in the side for the Wildcats. Man is trying to get big here down low. He said, so just gives it to Drew. And this is actually the third quarter. And now it seems like a, maybe the Cats, well, we've seen scores in the fourth quarter alone that are more numbers than this one. So very low scoring game. Drew makes a big three. It's not good, but ooh. Jeb tries to get the rebound, but the foul is caught on him. Called on him, my bad. Foul number 10, Jeff Herman. This section 541 left to go in this third quarter. Looks like the Wildcats are talking a little more than they did in the first half. Trey get oh 
It looked like Trey hit that ball clean, but ref says not. So that's going to be Trevor Souls. Third foul of the night. Trying to just the ref just a second ago. What do you, what do you, what do you got? What do you hit the other player? And look like he was saying with his elbow. Trini misses both shots. Burgos would say that was a good foul. Then. D3 for Ellis. In and out. Check it out. It's, it's, no. They are going up more on number 11 for Trinity. And Trinity gets the rebound and puts it back up. Really uncontested shot there. Three for Trey. No good, but Hellman gets the rebound and it goes in. And Coach Abasol calls a 30 second timeout. Let's see if we can get an, another replay. See if we can get a replay like that last rebound and put back by Ellis. 